Hey everyone, I'm Yahweh Zhu. I'm the product manager of Excel Addings, and I'm here today to propose this new, not not very new. This pattern is the proposal of use uh, opening Excel. Um, this pattern is the is first believed in back 2020, so it's like two two years ago. But we realized we found out that some some pair partners has already used it and gains very rapid usage growth so, so here i am to propose it again uh, i want more partners to use it as well so here we are um in our traditional way user if if a user wants to use an excel adding they at first they want to have to find and open the office stores search addings and install it um switch the ribbon launch the adding then they can use it but in this opening Excel pattern, the user start with your own system. The, the user click one button like open Excel or export the data from the system to Excel. Boom, they have already, uh, they can download the Excel file or they can simply open that Excel online. And then the, the add-ins can be installed and launched automatically in the same time. The user can use it simply. And this pattern can save a lot of user interaction with our uh, system and with our not that very good discoverability. And this is the pattern that we want. I want to propose. Uh, how can I play this video? This is a, a recording okay. that that I recorded as a Jira user because Jira is the uh, uh, the first one to use this pattern in their system. Uh, the user can click one button from the Jira system and they can choose whether to open it in the Excel desktop client or in the Excel online. If they choose Excel desktop, the, uh, Jira will generate a local file and then download it. If the user open the Excel file with the Excel client, the, the Jira um, the Jira adding will be automatically installed and launched. And you can see here the filter and the condition is totally the same as the user choose in the Jira system. And this is very convenient for the user to use it as a smooth workflow. And also this kind of pattern works for the Excel online. And you can click the button and choose to open the file and open the data in Excel online. The adding will also be installed and launched automatically as well. Yeah, the video uh, seems to be a little little bit lag here, but I I hope you can see what I'm trying to propose here. And, and and this pattern has very clear benefits and values for both users and developer. For the users, it's, it provides a much better experience because users don't have to search and find the store and search for the add-ins and, and install it before, it, before they can use it. And to partners, it means better funnel because they can install and launch it automatically. No user frictions. It means better link. When user export the data from the system to the Excel, you can also connect the data link between the Excel and the system at, at the same time. And it also means better user awareness. For example, when user export the data to Excel and this file can be modified by the user themselves, they can also share the file to the other colleagues. When the other user open the file, the add-ins will be also launched and uh, installed and launched as well. Uh, all, all of that adds up to be a better usage. I think that is uh, as in something for, means for you and and, uh, and a lot of means for us. And But this pattern is not uh, suitable for all of our partners. Uh, it has some conditions. And the first one is user can export the data from your system to Excel. That means your system has to be based on some data, uh, like ERP, like CRM, like financial backend, like a BI system, like education system. And as well, this export data from your system to Excel is a very common activity 
for your users. Then this add-in can provide the clear value to. Otherwise, the user might only export data once a year. This add-in might not be that useful as well. And the second one is your JS add-in in Excel is integrated with the service and in Excel. For example, your add-ins is meant to is built for the connection between your system and Excel. They can refresh the data, they can pull the data instantly or nothing. And also you can use your add-ins to do more actions such as data analysis, data visualization, and also you can write the data back to your system with your add-ins if you like. And you can use your imagination because the user already has the data in Excel. So you can imagine how you can use your add-ins to, to help the users to, to modify, to analyze the, the data better. And uh, you can use your imagination here. And how to use it? We provide this PMP sample code in this link. I think we can share the, uh, the deck after this meeting so you can check out document online. And here's two main problems that you might run into because some of the tenant might disable the user's store. So you might the user cannot choose which add-ins they can install from the store because the tenant disabled it. So you can, in this situation, you can use this central deployment functionality that you can talk to the admins. So, hey, the, you, you disable the you disable the store, the user cannot use the add-ins. So you can deploy the add-ins to all the tenant users. So when you download this file from the system, you export data from the system, the add-ins has been already deployed on the user's client. So they can only they can only uh they will only need to launch it. And that's works fine as well. And if your add-ins use something like custom function, like you, you want to stay the consistent connection with the system and Excel, you can use this shared on runtime. When you enable this functionality, when you user close the task pane, your add-ins will be also running in the background. So this, this two situation is something that we like to share the common situation that the developer might run into. And that's it. Uh, due to the limitation of time, so my, we might not be able to run the QA online. So this is the feedback forms, and you can scan the QR code here and leave the questions. I will try to contact you after this meeting. Thank you. Thanks, Kawei. That's uh, that's really cool to see. I, I see there's a, a lot of interest in the chat. Mm -hmm.